Alright, so I set off to make this video like fucking four months ago, but I recorded it and I never hit record on the audio, of course, naturally, of course, that, that's how it is with me, but uh, I did get some pretty good shit from it, so I'm just going to voice over it. Like I said, this was about four months ago, I think I recorded this in like November, but it's February now, so... I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I have an enchanting table, I guess. I don't do anything with it. I have a bunch of dirt and a bucket. A cauldron, whatever. Uh, I got a new microphone today. I decided I wanted to finally finish the thing I started creating six and a half million years ago. Those are all my cows. You've met my cows, though. You don't have to be introduced. I put a bunch of lanterns everywhere, I guess. I don't remember putting them there. Maybe I did. Maybe they've been there for a while. Upon luck, I found this fucking black cat, and he's the most skittish goddamn thing of all time. He just keeps running from me no matter what I do. So, I went to go get some fish, because kitties like fish. Don't worry, kitty. I like fish, too. I lied, I don't like fish, I don't know why I said that. So I catch the fish. To catch the fish you have to sink like the fish, but I'm not thinking like a fish, I'm just throwing a fucking ball in the, the lake and hoping I catch something. I catch four fish, somehow, and I go and I feed the fucking cat. I take my sweet ass time getting all the way over there, and then by the time I get over there, I have to search for him for six and a half million years once again. So now we've added up to a total of about 13 million years that this video is taking to make. And I see him for a moment. I'm trying to sneak so he doesn't run away. But I have no idea where the fuck he went because he's slick as hell. And then I hear a meow right there. But I heard it all the way to my left. I heard it on my left. However, he was directly in front of me. This goes to show that Minecraft doesn't know audio at all. That fucked me up. So I finally... Not that I finally, not yet, but... I do get this fucking cat. Like I said, it took me about six and a half million years. So... It does take a while. I'm sneaking around and he keeps running and running. And he ran. He ran so far away. He couldn't get away. Trying to get him to come to me, I think. I don't remember what I was thinking when I fucking made this video. But here he is, and he finally comes to me. After he catches a whiff of the fish. Come on. Oh, he fucking ran again. I'm like, there he is, though. See, he got a whiff of the fish, and he comes. Oh, Lord, he coming. Two tries, and I get the fish. Best friends forever. Hell yeah, I named him Roscoe. That's a fitting name for a cat. It's a strong name for a cat. However, as I'm filling in my fucking lake near my cows, uh, uh, Roscoe decided he was tired of life and he's tried to kill himself instantly. Uh, I was not having that. I decided to kidnap the local uh, fish and put them in my pond. So, you know, as if, as if life as a fish wasn't punishment enough, now they live in my local habitat and we'll see where it goes I think it looks nice I kidnap a bunch of them I don't know how many salmon and cod I have but it's more than two I think it looks cool oh so I replaced this fucking stone and what's that oh obsidian yeah because I made a fucking basement. Check that shit out. I made a basement. It's a pretty sweet goddamn basement. And this is where the nether portal is. I have not been in the nether portal before this. Roscoe's gonna hold the fort down. We're going in. Now if I remember correctly, we spawn above a fucking lava pit. Yeah, check that shit out. On, on, of all the fucking... I, I could have been stuck in the ceiling and I would have been fine with that. But no, I have to spawn literally right above a goddamn pit and I can't go fucking anywhere so I have to come back to the real world 
and get all my cobblestone or my dirt or whatever the fuck I need to, just to, to build some goddamn scaffolding so I can battle the fucking elements of the nether fucking smart idiot me is thinking yeah I'm just gonna take all the fucking building materials that I have oh god I almost threw up in my mouth just now I'm gonna take all the fucking building materials that I have and when I do oh I'll be fine I'm not gonna die in the nether oh that's fucking foreshadowing I'm not gonna die in the nether fuck the nether And we do what the name implies, and we start crafting. I make a little portal, a little bubble around my portal. Portal. I make a bubble around my portal, and then I make a small little bridge to try to get over to this land over here, so that maybe I can start exploring the nether and get some glowstone or netherrack or quartz or whatever the hell else. When suddenly I'm attacked by Casper the Friendly Ghost, and I fall and I break my ankles. I'm in a, I'm duking it out with Slimer from Ghostbusters right now. And, oh, check that out. He hits me and I burn to death. Fantastic. That's two in the first ten minutes. Oh, and I, I, I dodge that one. That's fucking sweet, right? I'm awesome. I'm great. I can just keep going. And, oh, well, I broke my ankles again. I bled out and died of sepsis. And here we go one more time. But, oh, I got my revenge. Casper's not taking me down this time. I'm not letting him take me down. Uh, but, but, but his friend, um, who's the, the fucking old dude from Luigi's Mansion? And, he's gonna get me, I know he's gonna fucking, and there it is. Once again, I bleed out. I finally managed to safely get over here, but wouldn't you know, the natives hate me for some fucking reason. I don't know why. I really don't know why. But they want me dead. I don't know what I did. And of course my sword breaks as I try to beat up a child. That's lovely. I tower up. Because I need to get back to my bridge of course. I get rid of this fucking lava pond. And we're on our way. I built some stairs down to this fucking hell right here, but of course they're super easy to kill because zombie pigmen are fucking mongoloids. They're the actual monster men, but they're fucking dumb. So they just pile up right there and just let me kill them. It's wonderful. I go back to the real world, I guess. I don't remember this. I'm back in the nether, I guess. I'm not sure what the fuck that was. I made a little bubble around this one too, so of course the zombie pigmen who randomly are hostile can't do anything. And then I push Gregory off a hill. <laughs>